Now, in an earlier video, I introduced the concept of instant apps. In this video, I'm going to show how you can integrate your instant app into your chatbot. So we know that instant apps are a great way of bringing some structured interaction into your chatbot dialogue flow. And this design decision you're making to introduce the instant app is something that we implement through the dialogue flow. And in the dialogue flow in Oracle Intelligent Bot, we introduce a new system component called system.interactive. And this is the component that we'll call the instant app. So let's have a look at the properties that you set to make this work. First of all, there's the ID, and this is simply the ID of the instant app that you want to launch. Prompt allows us to display a message to the user, maybe informing them that the next step they will see an instant app. The next two properties deal with the passing of data from the bot to the instant app and back from the instant app to the bot. Firstly, source variable list is a list of variables that you've already declared in your dialogue flow and you'll probably have set the value of these variables in previous steps. You can give these variables any name you wish. However, as we'll see in a minute, the name of the parameters within the instant app must match the name of the variables that way the instant app knows which source variables should map to which parameters in the instant app. And finally, variable defines a variable that you declare in the bot flow into which data is returned from the instant app. But what if you want the instant app to return more than one variable? Well, don't worry, we'll use a dot notation used, which means you can return multiple data values inside that object. So for example, output message dot value dot first message and output message dot value dot second message and you'll see this in a minute okay let's see this in action and for the sake of the demo we'll keep it really simple passing a name from the bot displaying that name within the instant app then from within the instant app asking the user for a welcome and an exit message and passing those messages back to the bot which will then display the welcome and the exit message to the user very simple but every use case is pretty much based off of this pattern okay here's the demo so we're in Oracle Intelligent Bots and we're in the bot tester and we're going to test this bot. So the bot asks us to supply our first name and we supply our last name. Now having got both pieces of information, the bot now asks us to launch an instant app by clicking on the link. Now in the development environment, the instant app is launched in a separate tab. And within the instant app, you can see that it's displaying the two pieces of information we supplied in the bot, our first name or last name, and it's now requesting that we supply two other pieces of information. We want to type in a welcome greeting and we want to type in a goodbye message as well. So we supply that information within the Innocent app, press the submit button and we return back to the bot. And returning back to the bot, the bot is displaying the welcome message and the goodbye message, both of which were input in the Instant app as well as the information which was supplied within the bot itself. So let's break down how we actually built that instant app and pass the information between the bot and the instant app and back again. So firstly, you need to know which instant app you want to launch. And here you can see that the app setting in the app defines the ID of the instant app. And this is how we call the instant app from the system.interactive. Within the parameters section of the instant app, you can see I have defined two parameters, first name and last name. And you can see that these parameter names exactly match the names of the variables passed in through the system.interactive source variable list property. So now from within the instant app, you can refer to the value of these parameters simply by using the parameter name inside curly brackets. Now at some point within the instant app, the user will execute an action called exit to bot. This might be associated with a button press, for example. And on exit to bot, you can define the various elements of the payload that are returned to the output message variable, and you can set their values simply by referencing the name of a field inside curly brackets. So in this case, message back is set to the value of an input field, a message back by is set to the value of a second input field in the instant app. Exit to bot will then do as it says and exit back to the bot and transition to the next stage. In this case, we're now executing the output state in which we print out a message, the text of which includes accessing the payload you return from the bot. 
output message dot value dot message back prints the welcome message that the instant app created and output message dot value dot message back by is the second message back from the bot which is the goodbye message so you can see calling an instant app from a bot is simply a case of using the system dot interactive system component where you set the id the variables you're passing in and the data you're passing back when the instant app executes an exit to bot so now you can get building instant apps and integrating them into your bots. Thank you very much for watching. <music>